Let's look at another hands-on learning tool that you have when you have a subscription to AppSec Engineer. And this is called Playground. Now, Playground is typically for secure code learning or learning a specific specialized technology concept, right? Now, in this case, what happens is that you've probably done a little bit of learning of videos, you've looked at our videos, you've probably done some basics with some of our courses, and you want to get it to just figuring out labs in especially secure code in languages and frameworks of your choice. So for instance, let's say you are a Go developer and you want to learn about some security and vulnerabilities in Go and what kind of uh, defenses you have in Go, you might want to start just getting down and dirty with the labs. You don't probably need videos to explain what a SQL injection is or what authorization is or what authentication is and so on. So that's where playgrounds come in, right? Now, playgrounds are essentially just a collection of labs that are meant for you to learn specific topics in specific frameworks or languages or even specific concepts on the cloud and so on. So today in AppSec Engineer, we have playgrounds on multiple things like Node.js and Python and Java and Go and Angular and Ruby as well. We're, in fact, we're in the process of launching Ruby very soon. And we're going to consistently launch playgrounds in different languages and frameworks. We're planning to launch a Laravel um, a playground pretty soon. We're planning to launch a TypeScript playground pretty soon. So we have a lot of these things in the works. So playgrounds are essentially just labs. And the labs essentially give you access to both the vulnerable and the secure version of the implementation. Right. So each lab, essentially like every other lab in AppSec Engineer, has a whole bunch of instructions to a vulnerable version and a secure version. So you can actually get down and dirty and just understand the uh, the concept as a lab rather than looking at a video, which you probably already know. And instead of forcing yourself into that particular construct, you can get into this. So this can be used as a very good reference, even when you're, let's say you're working on a problem, let's say you're a Go developer, you're working on a problem, you want to understand how to do authorization, you can literally run this lab, figure out how that works, and then start to actually implement it within your own uh, organization. So this becomes really, really useful for you to actually learn things and get started with learning new things in a hands-on, very direct way. So let's get let's see how uh, the playground works. As always with AppSec Engineer, you can provision a dedicated environment for yourself, which is the lab environment, very similar to all our other lab environments. Now, this would take you about 30 to 60 seconds for your lab to be spun up. Just like any other lab in AppSec Engineer, you don't need VPNs or any other complicated software to be downloaded on your machine. All you have to do is have a browser and have an AppSec Engineer subscription, and you're off to the races. In fact, it's that simple that you can even use this on an iPad. That's easy to use. So here, I'm provisioning a lab that is going to teach us how to uh, run or implement authorization or object level access control in a Go web application, right? So as you can see, we have the lab spun up and you can easily start to explore the lab, which contains our code base, uh, which has the vulnerable and secure code. So you'll see that it has an actual Golang application that we've implemented that has access to uh, the authorization, the middleware and so on. It has all of the details that you need. And of course, all you have to do is follow the instructions from this point on, and you should be able to actually run the application, look at how the application works in terms of uh, secure and insecure code, and actually implement authorization for the application. So this is a real-world playground, and this is a real-world application. So you'll see that it's a full-fledged application that works exactly like any other application will work. So you will see that you have an authorization, and we've implemented some kind of an authorization here, and based on the authorization, you can do some kind of user privileged action and so on and so forth. So all of this is meant for your developers to learn these concepts in a very uh, easy way, rather than having to go through complicated videos all the time, or let's say they're already past the basic stage of learning about these vulnerabilities from scratch, they can directly jump into Playgrounds and Playgrounds gives them a great way to do a hands-on exploration of all of these different topics in their languages, their frameworks of choice. So that becomes really, really powerful. So Playgrounds is another great way to get hands-on with AppSec Engineer along with challenges, labs, and of course, many of our other learning tools that we have as part of AppSec Engineer. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
and I look forward to seeing you with another one of our videos.